Hi, I'm Patty Cake, and this is my best friend, Brent. We've been besties for a while now, and one of the things we bonded over was our shared love of Mad Libs. On Christmas a few years ago, Brent pitched the idea to me to create a show where we use AI art to accentuate the humor of Mad Libs. Three weeks later, we started filming, and we haven't stopped since. Through this project, we hope to share our weird humor and to highlight both the unexpected beauty and complete absurdity of AI-generated art. Welcome to Mid-Journey Mad Libs. Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please come in and make yourself at home. My name is Patty Cake, and welcome to Patty Cake Games and another episode of Mid Journey Mad Libs. With me, as always, is my best friend, my co host, my compatriot in this endeavor, Brent. How are you doing tonight? I am great, and I still have the same clearly Canadian. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not going to waste any time. You guys know how this works. We send each other Mad Libs. We send each other the answers to go into those Mad Libs. We then take those sentences. We run them through Mid Journey. We create art. We get together. We share it with each other. And we laugh. And that's the show. And we hope you like it. And if you do like it, look down below the video. There's a button just for you. It's a thumbs up button. It just means you like the video. And if you're clicking on that, then go ahead and click on subscribe. It's right next to it. That really helps out the channel. You know you want to. And if you want to be super thorough, you can click the notification bell. That lets you know when new videos are posted to the channel. But, you know, that's up to you. You don't, you don't care. That's fine. If you also look in the description of the video, there's a link to a Discord. It'd be cool if you come and join us on the Discord. We could talk about the show. We could talk about anything else. Well, I am first tonight. And I got a really kind of funny beginning to this Mad Lib because of a word you gave me. <laughs> so, uh, what was your theme for this one? Oh, TV time. TV time. Yes, TV time. So you had to give me watching, things that were... What were you watching, oh, by the way? Yeah. I was watching Obliterated, the final episode of Obliterated on Netflix. Mm, okay. So this is Hall Monitor. My name is God. Apologies. <laughs> I'm the watch monitor and peacekeeper here at Sorry Hero Memorial School. Wow. <laughs> It's like weird. Well, apparently, it's a military school. Yeah, weird military faceless guy. It's like a Cobra Commander. <laughs> so, God is the hall monitor? Yeah, yes, God is the hall monitor. Well, no, he's the watch monitor. Watch monitor. But yes, the hall monitor. It's my duty to keep the students loving through the halls in an ice cold and orderly fashion. I Have feel they like. Have the clouds? Well, I think it's supposed to be ice or, or snow, possibly. Originally, I wasn't sure I was boring enough for this job. Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, if, if, I, if this is you before the job, trust me, you're not boring. You're driving up. <laughs> Range Rover through the rapids while dodging multiple children while a early <laughs> crocodilian. You're way too cool. Right? <laughs> I mean, this is just insanity. Oh, and by the way, don't have to adjust your uh, your settings on your computers or whatever you're watching this on. Yes, it is blurry. It's just how it created it. <laughs> I am not the strongest part of you in school. I got a lot the of weird stuff like this. Hands on the shoulders. These piles of books that are yeah, balancing all... books on the head and somehow two of them on each ear <laughs> but it's like she's meditating you know now she does seem more boring <laughs> and i don't claim to be the smartest feeling either okay so if we were doing an art style i could see how this might pop up you know like because it's indicative of that person's art style but yeah it just out of left field, this was such a strange image that it gave me from, from the, that text. So that's what made me gravitate towards it. Also, at first, I thought it was like a terracotta soldier. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So when I blew it up and I saw it wasn't, it made it even more interesting. Because it's like, why would, why would he wear an entire outfit that color in that shape? It's very unusual. And what is this on the street in front of them? It's like, it looks like cookies? broken. Yeah, it looks like broken cookies. I don't get it. Chocolate chocolate chip? Or, <laughs> ooh, red velvet chocolate chip. But I have the big ability to sense that someone has something up his cute black boots. They're not that cute. What it, this uh. is, is it's cute black boots. It's two separate things. Q 
cute and black boots <laughs> all in one picture did you get a lot of those yes <laughs> it's, it's pretty much all that I is got. a cute kitty like if, if we got if, if somebody was like i have this kitty and needs a home i'd be like yeah we'll take that kitty. That's a <laughs> <laughs> so heed this warning um i i will but they don't seem <laughs> as if they are <laughs> they seem rather amused by the giant sea monster coming up between them. <laughs> um, Maybe they're just in such horror that they... <laughs> she's got that, that teary smile like... <laughs> oh, we're gonna be okay! <laughs> uh, um, it's, it, it, in a way, though, it's a little bit cute. <laughs> yeah, the color palette kind of helps with that. Uh -huh. And his, It his does look weird, a little Wes Anderson. His weird tie, yeah. It do, yeah, it does look a little Wes Anderson. Oh, it's like a bow tie and a tie. Yeah, and, oh. it, and it's and it has like a floral print. <laughs> if you're thinking about coming in the hallways without a drink pass, is that it, like some kind of forced perspective type uh, thing? Or? I'm I'm wondering about that myself because the glass is so large, <laughs> and it doesn't seem like that's the right proportion. But but like you, know, I'm wondering if this was if if it was trying to do a forced perspective picture. I can't tell if that's like a kilt or like a like ballooned out pan. It looks like a schoolgirl uniform with a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> or a nun. <laughs> or or a nun, yes. With a top hat. <laughs> or planning to start an all out mixed nuts fight in the cafeteria. <laughs> 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 Wow. I love this picture so much. It's so weird. <laughs> it's like these like squirrel people. <laughs> but it's like there's places where it actually looks like they are squirrel people, but there's also places that looks like they're people wearing furry suits. Yeah, that's more like what I was thinking. Yeah, they're wearing it's it's, it's an outfit. It's yeah, but if you look With at their far extremities, attack. like especially the feet of the ones that are in the air, those aren't human feet. Well, so, I mean, <laughs> they could be part of the costume. Like it has these extra long curvy toes. That... <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're having an all out mixed nuts war. Forget about it. I have people in the back of my head yeah, this was included just because it took me by surprise. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. But I like the color palette that it used. Uh, I like... I don't know, it blends a lot of things that are like really up my alley in the aesthetic, like all the little dangly bits that are hanging down. Uh, that's, know, that makes me think it. of like a mono artwork, which I love so much. You should make us some posters. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. You can run, but you can't defend, and you'll be in the principal's headbutt in no time. This looks like it's a forced perspective, because it looks like the principal is grabbing the guy in front of them by the head, but oh, it's you can tell that the person's actually further back. Way far know, off. Yeah, yeah. I didn't... <laughs> It's just like he's running, but the other person's like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's like the other person is falling down. Yeah, and the other guy's knees are they kind of <laughs> yeah, they're kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's after them, but I think you should be running away and not towards. They look like they're changing directions, dude. <laughs> but that is it for the story. Are you ready for the honorable mentions? Yeah. All right, here we go. This is it's my duty to keep the students loving through the halls in an ice cold and orderly fashion. Wow. So it this interpreted looks like something the ice. from the sign. Yeah. So it so it looks like shag carpet, mm -hmm. like really thick, heavy shag carpet. But knowing that the prompt had ice cold in it, it also looks like frost. Or it could be shag carpet that's designed to, to look, look like, like that. frost. Yes. In which case, they went with the cold color palette with the light blue doors and the snowflakes, snowflakes on the walls. Motif. Yeah. 
So I just I, thought that was. I like, would hate to be the one to vacuum this. Oh God, me too. Jesus they Christ. would have to have how, like this how would you do lawnmower that? type vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> It would have to be raised up, otherwise it would just <laughs> bog down and suck in all the little... Yeah. This is... I am not the strongest part of you in school, again. The, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that is one of the most surreal things I've ever right? seen on this show. <laughs> like, you've got these little boats that look almost like the boats that they use for, like movies back when they were doing like stop motion animation right like and then you've got this very superimposed rainbow these buildings that don't quite look like they're from the same century oh i know what that is <laughs> yes uh or planning to start an all-out mixed nuts fight in the cafeteria <laughs> flaming nuts they're super spicy <laughs> it looks like an advertisement for the the palm um pistachios they have a, a chili flavored one it's oh really <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking as well. I was thinking this looks like an ad for a super spicy nut snack. Um, yeah. But it just gave me these weird looking nuts, though. <laughs> you can run, but you can't defend, and you'll be the principal. You'll be in the principal's headbutt in no time. Okay, that one kind of gives me feelings. So. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks like he's like smashing something on his head that, like a like a lantern or something, because flames are like going out and landing around oh. them. Oh wow! There, it's like two blacksmiths got into right a fight. got into a fight for some reason. Want to know this story? What's happened? That is it. That is the end of my Mad Lib for the evening. Oh, poor Chat GPT has taken us on a roller coaster. Um, how to make friends, how not to make friends, how to get jobs, how to get wrap gifts, maybe. I don't know what's next. So tonight, ChatGPT is going to try to tell us how to throw a party. <laughs> ChatGPT. How do you throw a party? What are parties like? Having no physical body prevents me from experiencing such things. Anyway, here are some things you can do to ensure you have an amazing human party. Send out invitations to everyone and everything in the universe, from distant galaxies to inanimate objects. You never know who or what might show up. For the ultimate party location, rent a rocket and host your extravaganza on the moon. It'll be a bit of a logistical challenge, but the zero gravity dance floor will be worth it. Offer guests unconventional party favors like live penguins, a lifetime supply of socks, and unicycles. Encourage guests to juggle while riding the unicycles. Instead of serving a traditional meal, arrange a massive food fight feast with dishes like spaghetti, mashed potatoes, and chocolate syrup. Remember, the messy, the better. At some point during the party, surprise everyone with an impromptu elephant rodeo. Rent a few elephants and challenge your guests to see who can stay on the longest. Replace traditional party music with an orchestra of air horns. Encourage guests to compose their symphonies by squeezing their horns in rhythm. Earplugs optional. Set up a game of pin the tail on the invisible unicorn. Blindfolded guests will need to pin a non-existent tail onto an imaginary unicorn while you describe its precise location. I would love to attend a party like that. Wouldn't you? I mean, if, if I had unlimited money and I could afford to do all of these things, I'm down for a lot of that. <laughs> um, the moon party, when I heard zero gravity dance floor and I was like, that's it. Well, um, te technically it wouldn't be zero gravity, but it would be far less gravity. Yeah. One six. Yeah, but something like that. 
time to go to the county fair. So, yes, this is the first time I've used this Mad Lib. I got it at Bucky's a couple of months ago. And this is the county fair Mad Libs. <laughs> nice. Yes. And I remember many days going to the county fair uh, and stuff like that. So I was pretty excited. We Here had, we when I was a kid growing up in Thibodeau, Louisiana, we had the Fireman's Fair every year. And we all would look forward to it. They had food, they had bands, and they had a bunch of rides in the back. So we had the we had the Rice Festival. Mm. Um, so instead of having a, a county fair, that was that took the place of our county fair. Welcome. Five and all. <laughs> Five the county and all? fair is officially alive. Yeah, it's like it's supposed to be like welcome one and all. Yeah, like five, five and all. all. <laughs> that looks so vintage. So they have like I, half of a Ferris wheel back there. It just like unless stops. The, maybe it's part of the roller coaster and you curl. Oh, up, and then you go back uh, the then other you stop way. Maybe. And go back down. Yeah, that's. I guess that's possible. Um, I don't know if I'd want to do that on a on a curve like that, but that would be very uncomfortable. What decade do you think this is from? Maybe early 80s, late 70s? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Late 70s, Blue's early 80s. Kid carrying this cup <laughs> by the straw. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that until you mentioned it. Uh, and both the mother and the, the child with the stripes, their arm goes the wrong way. See, now, there so, was something that was bothering me about the kid, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and that's what it is. The, the hand is facing the wrong direction. It's Creeper coming up behind him with that weird grin on his face. <laughs> <laughs> we know you've been waiting for this birthday since last year's fair sashayed its gates. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. That's kind of weird, weirdly provocative. <laughs> yeah, it. It's the whole entire thing is just a mishmash of weird. Yeah, the balloons, the weird balloon chair he's sitting on, two-headed oh. cow dog in the background. Bear, <laughs> cow <three> dog legs. <laughs> bear <laughs> with three legs. Yes, and then we're not just. I'm just not gonna. I'm pretending the thing on the left doesn't isn't there. <laughs> we're gonna. I'm okay with that. And you're sure have a breezy time this year too i'm not riding that seems unsafe <laughs> <laughs> it's not the only unsafe ride in this county fair but yeah. i know is it a ride it's or is it like is it a stage it's a stage it's a portable stage kind of like it races up and down but it's the county fair so they're not like but it's just weird it's just weird that it's tied to the tents as well <laughs> oh <laughs> See, I, I just kind of thought those were just hanging down. Those tents seem really far away. Yeah, but no, they're not hanging straight down. They're pulled at angles like they're attached to the tents. We hope you brought your speakeasy. The whole thing? <laughs> well, okay, there we go. It kind of looks like a speakeasy. It's almost like a couple's glamour stop type things where you use those period photos. This also kind of looks like a display, something that's meant to show you what a speakeasy might have looked like, but it's none of it's real, and they're not even real. They're mannequins. And her hand got broken off, and they said they just laid it down. That's, that's my explanation for why that's that way, yes. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's, 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 my, that's my reasoning. There's more funky food to try inside than you can shake a monkey at. Oh, shaking monkeys at funky food? That sounds weird. Yep, it's weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a person wearing a chimpanzee oh, mask. Oh, yeah, yeah. It it's it definitely looks like that because it has the rest... The rest of it has human proportions and human movement. So it looks like a human being wearing a monkey suit. He also is wearing, like, a shirt on top. Well, I guess maybe the monkey suit doesn't cover his whole body. It's just like a mask. Yeah. With a with a and chest they, piece or something. Yeah, but make sure you don't eat too much, because it might make that ride on the race a whirl a bit messy. <laughs> oh well, it's definitely a bit messy, because that's not where that's not where your mouth is. It's, it's like it's like Ted from Airplane with a drinking problem, but he has an eating problem. It's just like <laughs> there's like there's this milky substance on top of this yummy looking cake. And then there's that milky substance inside of his drink. And on his face. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're going to move on. <laughs> of course, 
you'll want to try to displace a harrowing stuffed animal. Oh, well, that's definitely a harrowing stuffed animal. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Ashley Judd, run! Ashley Judd! <laughs> <laughs> or at least duck. <laughs> that thing is coming. <laughs> that is terrifying. Catch the borrowing band on the main canoe. Oh, it's a band. <laughs> on the main the canoe. The borrowing band on the main canoe. Is he inside? It looks like they borrowed it looks He's... like they borrowed all the members. Yeah. From like other bands. <laughs> Yeah, you're not lying. They don't, they don't look like they really go together. I guess there's a big hole in the boat there where he just like stands in the hole because he's standing on the on the ground, but he's I don't know how he coming plays out it. of the boat. I feel like they have somehow managed to make this canoe an instrument. Yeah, because it looks like it has like something that it's propped up on, like a stand that it's supposed to be that high, and it it looks like there's controls or something on the front of it, so it's. It's, uh, it's like an electronic instrument of some kind. And see who wins the blue ribbon for the best bologna pie in the county. Jody is sure to win this year. Oh my god, it's literally bologna pie. <laughs> it kind of looks good, uh, in a way. Well, I mean, it's meat in a pie crust with some sort of a sauce. I mean, it, how can you go wrong? Now, no. the one in the back, that, that looks really good. Um, that's one of those... Is that the salt saltwater pies? Uh, it's a hot water, hot water crust. Pie. Hot water yeah, crust pie. hot water. Yeah, that looks like something straight off the Great British Baking Show. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle that much bologna though. Like bologna has to be done sparingly for me because it's it's it has a strong flavor. It has a very strong flavor. So, step through the colorful animal hides and get ready for a wonderfully blow dried day. <laughs> wonderfully blow dried i love it <laughs> <laughs> though arguably only like one person and another person who's off frame uh would actually need to be blow dried because nobody else has hair <laughs> and i'm like are those brains they're kind of but they're i mean you don't see anything yeah Not really that tina turner <laughs> I don't know. It oh, is very wild. It's and the very... zoom out, I, I thought I put the zoom out there because the zoom out's even crazier. <laughs> but it's time for honorable mentions. All right. And they are honorable. <laughs> we know that you've been waiting for this birthday since last year's fair sashayed its gates. Oh, my gosh. This is sashaying the gates of the fair? It seems uh, weird. I think they're at the Folsom Street Fair. <laughs> hey, that harness. Go ahead, man. Uh, but, but, no, oh, that's just, it's interesting. And these huge towers in the background with are those flags or flames there, on top of them. I'm thinking that they're lights. You know, they're like very, very tall lights that then point mm. down. Okay. Like, this is the fairground. And it's just, it's empty now. So they have to bring the gates up. Say, You're sure to have a breezy time this year, too. Uh, boats. Yeah. I just picked this one because I really like their weird attire. And <laughs> yeah, I want to know more about these characters. Oh, yes. This is the other very dangerous ride. Make sure oh. you don't eat too much as it might make that ride on the race a world a bit messy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. That is highly unsafe. Oh, my Lord. How are these people alive? <laughs> these people are not alive anymore. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> They they never, get, uh, I mean, they, it's AI. They never existed, but still. I'm trying to figure dead. out if they're climbing. Like maybe that's that's the uh, the idea that you're, you're you climb these things to the top because you're racing each other, or oh, maybe. And, but it, and many of them look like they're wearing diapers or <laughs> their panties are showing. It's just a mess. I don't want to ride the race of world. Me either. <laughs> It seems very uncomfortable. <laughs> See who wins the blue ribbon for the best bologna pie in the county. Jody is sure to win this year. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there an animal on it? That's unsanitary. I can't even tell what kind of animal it is. It kind of looks like a rabbit, but it also kind of looks like a cat. <laughs> and a bird. And a bird. Right. A little bit like a bird, too. Yeah. It's like, what? what is that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I think... It's like a you know mole how like, rat? It kind of looks like a mole rat too with the long <laughs> the little snout. 
and there's one more. Because every now and then you just get this poignant picture or something that's really cute or you just, oh, this picture has to be in there, but it's yes, not necessarily I know. funny. I know well, exactly what it. you mean. And this is, of course, you'll want to displace a harrowing stuffed animal. Oh. Like he doesn't look harrowing. <laughs> this looks like the cover of a video. Oh yeah, actually, totally, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I can totally see this, or even some sort of really, really high tech um, animation short film or something like mm -hmm. that. But yeah, it's like this neglected teddy bear has been left in this industrial place. It looks like a building is leaning over there. Yeah. I mean, that's that alone is just an interesting concept for a world for like a 3D platformer video game where you play an abandoned teddy bear that was like left somewhere in this industrial place and you're trying to find your way home. That was awesome. That was very fun. I really liked it. It was when I was doing the artwork, I wasn't impressed. And then after I got further in, and then of course, a lot of the fun is also getting uh, your reaction. Mm hmm. Because yeah, because uh, I'll often see things that you don't. You, same thing happens when we do my Mad Libs. You see things that I don't. Oh, you know what? What? This is like the last time. The last time for what? Due to a technical glitch with his audio, Tiger was unable to introduce the wheel. So allow me to do so. Spam! The Spin the wheel, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, hope it don't suck. Yep, it's that time. We could spin the wheel to find out what our themes are going to be like in the last two episodes of Mid Journey Madlows for Season 3. This is the last time we're spinning the wheel this season. The last time. It's the last time. Anyway. <laughs> So we're gonna spin it. We're gonna spin it. Uh, we're gonna alternate so that's kind of a surprise. We don't get stuck with like one person. Saying, well, I'm gonna get those two. <laughs> but no, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, alternate. Ah, the chances and, uh, of style blends. Chances of style blends are very high. They're very <laughs> high. So here we go. Your first art theme next week is Grant Wood. Very cool. I like Grant Wood a lot. My first art theme is going to be... A style blend. I got a style blend. All right, so I got to spin it again to find out what my first style is. See how many additional style blends I get. I like to see how you can work that. Okay, there's another one, so that doesn't count. Spin it again. I couldn't get one, and you've gotten like four. Yoji Shinkawa. Yoji Shinkawa is going to be my first artist, and I have to style blend them with. <laughs> Happy Pizza Fun Time! Oh no! Oh, that was so much fun last season. I'm excited. Your second art theme. Yeah! 80s metal album covers. And now you have a 30, no, 67% chance of getting a style blend. Yeah, so I'm going to spin it one time. And if I get a style blend, then I'll choose Keith Haring, and then I'll find out what I blend it with. So here is my last art theme. Is it a style blend? A style blend. It is not. It is, it is not. not. It is just Keith Haring. Keith Haring Deep is my die. last artist of the season. Oh. Okay. okay. It's all black. All right, so that's it. That's going to be our art themes for our last two episodes of season three. Can you believe it, y'all? The next episode is the penultimate episode. Who knew? We we one did. more after that. It's, it's time for a short break. But, of course, we'll bring you more fun content. But don't forget to come back next week because we have two more Mad Libs for you. Also, yep. don't forget to like us. Please like us. We need that validation. <laughs> Subscribe, because, I mean, why not? 
And of course, you could always text in a little reminder bell. Don't forget to check us out on our socials. Um, and uh, we'll try to make sure that we bring you plenty of new content during the break. Nothing too crazy because we're, you know, chilling. But anyway, see you next okay. week. Yep. See you next Bye week, back. guys. <laughs> Like and subscribe. The algorithm demands it.